well, it only seems like a few weeks ago we walked through here and this grass was, you know, four feet tall on the old road. Today is the day we're going to do some hiking, most importantly, exploring. This is classic abandoned New Hampshire. We're walking through old farmlands, basically 1700s colonized, lived upon until the mid 1800s. And vacant since. And so I'm quite familiar with this one, for instance. There's a cellar hole over there and a couple of old fields and pastures up in there. Been here several times through the years. But as usual, uh, this is a big chunk of land and all the farms are connected to each other, not necessarily by a road which this actually ends at the end of this farm but they all butt against each other so this wall that I just showed you it goes like halfway across town because of all the farms connecting to each other we're just gonna get up there follow it and see where it goes it's actually the first cool overcast day we've had in a while so I figured be a good day to make a few miles. It rained a little bit earlier, so it's quite pleasant out. Okay, so we've reached the furthest point I've been to before in the past, which is pretty much this back square rock wall. Now it becomes all new unknown terrain to me. which is pretty, pretty cool. And I have a feeling it's quite a distance over to the uh, tail end of the next farm, which I've been in from the other side, and that's the whole point of today. Connect it. Just keep in mind, and I've said it before, all of this land and space in the, you know, early to mid 1800s was wide open. It would have just been farm connecting to farm, connecting to farm with houses in between and animals and fields. And it probably would have made a lot of sense looking at it back then. But now it's all buried in the forest. Pretty wild, really. All right. That's the way we want to go. It's just great mental stimulation to wonder what people were doing where. I don't think they were doing much here. Probably livestock pasture. Wow, how quickly the seasons are going to change. And everything's just dying off. Well, it's definitely getting worse. At least in that department. But we are leveling out and to get down the hill. Always got to Check the lifts. Does anybody plop the house out here? Oh. Up and then back down over the other side again. Oh, 
here's a square with a nice proper brake. End caps with purpose. Kind of just walking without direction right now. So the <clears throat> proper brake was over there and just comes up, squares off, up, squares off. Lots and lots of different pens. Couple oldies. And if you look through there, big piles of field stones. So, not great looking land, but they were definitely cleaning in there. It's just again when you're this far out into the woods. You know, and you really look around how much life was going on here and work. I mean, the rock walls have not stopped. But at some point, this was beautiful. God, I wish I could have seen it. And the other point being, this far out from either farm, I mean, we are way out in the tail ends in the middle. And they were still working it this hard. That's a nice little section. This is also where you can only wonder and hope that you might find a small in betweeny home site. That's kind of interesting. Don't look like much, but it is a, a small pit in the ground. Okay, 15 minutes later, I've started looping my way back around as usual, but in a different section. I can see the ground. Ferns are going away. Some of these spots in the summer, forget it. You look in, you can't tell what's going on with the ground. And there's a big pond down there, farm behind us. And for this section, which I'm kind of close to where I've been before, I've never connected in here because, well, one, it had been logged a while ago. And like I said, the grow back in the summer is sick, but let's see how much or how far I can get down in here. Yeah, I think I can actually see the water glistening a little bit out on the horizon, so it's not that far. Oh yeah, I can see from up here. Rhododendrons. As per usual around the water, so we won't be getting too much further down that way. Well, once again, not just a walk in the woods, but a good observation of how much all of the land was used back then. Crazy. Despite how texturous bad it is, square after square after square, cleared land, walls built, 
and now all just buried. Hope you enjoyed it. Get out and explore your world.